Welcome back to the Ed Block Courage Cast live from Radio Road. Dave Simonel and Dwayne Brooks. I look a little different. We'll explain that here in a second. But i uh, <laughs> pleased to be joined by the NFL leader in punt return yards last year as a rookie. Uh, I was a rookie two years, two years ago. Two years. My apologies. Brittany Covey, who is here with Amorpho. Amorpho. Yeah. So let's start right there because I'm. I'm the fashion model. I just don't look like Vanna White. Yeah. Uh, so, as you can see, I'm very small. Yeah. I'm bigger than Jake Elliott, the kicker. Other than that, I'm probably small. So, uh, the way I train has been really good for me. And, and this is why this is a weighted vest. Um, and you're a little big for this. <laughs> but it's a weighted vest that forms into your body. And it, it just helps you move. Because, you know, there's always those guys who are killers in the weight room. Doesn't really translate to the old right. You know what I mean? Um, I'm kind of so where it's, I can't, I'm not strong. I'm not strong in the weight room, but this helps in my body be functionally strong. You know, I can run routes with this. I can go and catch punts with this. And uh, anyway, so I love to go every athlete I show up to love. So, now, how heavy is the 10 pounds? This is 10. Yeah. This, okay. So it's not enough where it will hurt your joint, but uh, it's, it's just enough where you'll definitely feel. Well, Dwayne over here is a former athletic trainer, so I'm going to turn it over to him. So how is it working with Jerome and those guys in the athletics? Okay. They're the best, right? You know Jerome? Yeah, yeah. no, they're great. Yeah. Such a great training staff. Um, so they, they've got, I haven't missed any, a game yet. That's right. Huntley's there too, yeah. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm about Tom. That's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Tom was in Minnesota for a long time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you and that kind of thing? Yes. I was in uh, with the Saints for 12 years, and I got a stolen year with the Ravens as well. So I'm 13 years old. So I want to ask about a couple of Ed Block recipients if you have one on your team. Let's start with Avante Maddox, who is a 2023 Ed Block Birds Award recipient. Tell us a little bit about Avante the person. Yeah, yeah. Well, both of our last two Ed Block Award winners, Avante and BG, they're both little kids at heart, <laughs> you know. Maybe even to the public or little kids too. But but Avante loves to have a good time. He's such a good person. Um, what I love about Avante, it's so hard to be injured back to back to back, right? right? Because there's so much negativity that comes at you, and it's not your fault. People label you as injury prone. It's like I literally have no choice over my body. Um, he's really handled it really well. I love Avante. He's such a good person. So, and look. Brandon Graham is one of our, yeah. I think we would say our favorite people that we've had on the show. <laughs> we need, we need it. Yeah. Yes, it is. I need a funny story. The funny story you can tell us about Brandon so that the next time he comes yeah. on, we can bring this up as blackmail. I mean, I talk to him. I'm sorry. All right. Here's what Brandon does every single day. He leaves his house at like 5 a.m. Or, or like 6 a.m. And then he comes in and he gets a massage. And while, all, while everyone's getting a massage in the room, it's quiet. He's FaceTiming his kids for an hour and a half every single morning. And out loud, speakerphone on, doesn't matter where he's in, if you walk into a meeting room. And you just basically have to just be there while he's talking with his kids. Hey, what you doing? It's so scary on the You know what I mean? So he's a great dad, but it's just hilarious. It's like he leaves the house, and he needs to keep talking to him. And then he's in the massage table talking to his kids. It's pretty fun. Take me through what it's like as a punt return yeah it's uh it's tough like you gotta <laughs> you gotta really have some crazy about you to do it i feel like in the nfl especially because of how good they are first of all punters are so good they can manipulate the ball and win. and then it's not all up you know, you got 10 other guys blocking one of them messed up. You got a guy right there. so it's more than just being i all the time like, I put a quick guy back more than that, you got to have some rather unit and have guys that want to block for you. And then I just obsess over finding penalties. So, like, if I see a punter's back foot turn this way, okay, I've watched that film, I know he's kind of here. If I see his hip turn this way, I know he's kind of here. You can find little tendencies like that, and uh, it really helps. And then after that, once you catch it, it's all about picking and choosing your time to take risks. Not every return is going to be a 40 yard around the edge return. Sometimes you've got to get upfield for 10 yards and it's not flashy, but it's better than trying to make something happen 
losing ground. So it's all about kind of picking and choosing your time. When, when is that moment you know, on a punt return where all of a sudden you go, oh, my God, oh my God. I might take this? Yeah. Well, it honestly starts at the very beginning. You know who their most dangerous guy is. So your eyes are on them before the ball gets punted. And sometimes, just every now and then, if one of them, like, slips or gets really blocked, you're like, okay, I'm going to get a chance here. So so your eyes, before the ball is even punted, it's like, this guy and this guy are the two most dangerous. So I'm looking at them, and boom, got a good block on him. So, you know, pretty early on. What was your welcome to the NFL moment? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. I mean, my welcome to the NFL moment was probably when I – so I started on the practice spot, and the first home game, I got elevated to the active roster, but I didn't have my parking pass. And uh, so they didn't believe I was a player, <laughs> really. So I went and had to park with the fans and tailgate. Oh, wow. So I know that you're looking for an on-the-field welcome to the NFL mode. That was a welcome to the NFL mode. Yeah, well, I don't look like a player. How did, how did the people of Philly let you get into the stadium and not just take you as a tailgater? Yeah, I mean, I, so I went and paid for the tailgate and uh, Clark and I walked and something directly. I mean, we we're kind of confused. And so I called uh, some people and they met me at the game. It's like, hmm. We've come a long way from Jeff Hurley, what I say. One of the more fascinating things for me when you watch punt returners is where their eyes are yeah. once they get in the open field. You'll see guys that look at the scoreboard or they'll just keep running. What's your preference when you get out in the open field like that? Right. Honestly, if there's a big scoreboard, I do look at it. It helps you with situational awareness. Um, just at least a little glance to know if someone's on your tail. Because what happens is when guys start running in the open field, how many times have you seen it where the ball's loose and a guy comes from behind and does that little punch up? So that's what you have to be aware of. You're faster like this, but the ball's exposed. Um, I mean, I so I haven't had a touchdown yet, sadly. I've had a few close ones. Um, so once I get out in the open field, I'm just looking at my biggest threat. And it's usually not fun. <laughs> you know? I was going to say, when you see the punter, is it sort of like, oh, I got this guy? <laughs> I mean, it depends on who the punter is. It's Mitch Wisnowski for the 49ers. I've got him now. He's a rugby player. He runs a 4 6. He's good. Yeah, that, I, would, I don't know if I'd want to see that because he might do some like yeah. flying kick as he's as they're coming down the field. Well, Pat McAfee's over there. And Pat McAfee yeah, has done that before. Exactly. So. So, who do you uh, have in the game, son? Who are you picking? Um, I'm going to go with the Chiefs because, wow. yeah, well, here's the reason. I think that the 49ers, every game, they get about 14 points off the big play. They're, I mean, Brock is an underrated quarterback when it comes to a plural broken down play. We know what Evo does every time. 50-yard breaking tackles, and then Ayuk is incredible. I think that that Chiefs are the most disciplined defense in the NFL and that they kind of make you say, we're going to not give up a big play and make that sustained drive. And that's hard. So I think that, I definitely think the game's going to be made or broken on when the 49ers go. Um, because I think the Chiefs are too disciplined to give up a big play um, that the 49ers are used to scoring on. Uh, and that's that's my analysis. But I, I obviously, two amazing teams. Well, by picking the Chiefs, you are in the majority of the people that we have talked to here in these past few days, which means when we're done here, you're going to get to take the Kansas City Chiefs cookie with you as, uh, as your as token ready. pick. So before we let you go, Brayton, let's talk one more time about this weighted jacket. Which, yeah. By the way, it is – Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I was going to say, let me – I don't want to stretch it out too much for you here. You're not saying I am a big guy, so I'm like, you know, I try to put it on, please. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. This is a great radio right now. The video portion is fantastic. Radio, this is not very good. That, uh, they, you can just, yeah. No, I could not. My belly was sticking through. All these on the side to tighten it, form fit your body. Cool. So you feel how that kind of yeah. rolls to you and. You know, the old way to that, that were baggy and sandbag. Yeah. That was the goal of this is to be a much better, more movement efficient than that. Move around. Should we have Dwayne run around yeah. Radio Row with it on? <laughs> I think you, I think you should. Yeah. I think you should do a lot. 
I think you should do a lot with the weight of estimate. Yeah. I think you should do a lot. Yeah. Well, let's ask our guest. What, what, what would you count to people this day? <laughs> well, Britain, thank you again. Where can people learn more about it? Go to their website, amorphone.com, uh, or you've got into big sporting goods. Okay. Go birds. Go birds. Yeah. I thought we could get through the interview without a go birds coming out from our from yeah. Brett over on the other end of this. But Britain, thank you for taking no some time. More from Radio Rose.